Hello everyone, in this video to see APG architecture and routing procedure. So APGA means field programmable gate array. It is denoted as APGA. APGA is a newest member of ASIC family. So it is one kind of technology for the replacement of TTL that is a transistor transistor logic in a microelectronic system so in that fpj is it is one kind of gate array um, uh, gate array semi custom design so in that fpj uh, having some predefined cells are available for that implementation we have to utilize the fpj so here the fpj is having some uh, little difference than pld so pld means programmable logic devices so compared to the pld the FPGA is uh, just larger and more complex than the PLD. So, in part, uh, for a specific application, we have to prefer FPGA than PLD. So, PLD is it is also uh, denoted as CPLD. CPLD means complex PLDs. So the characteristics of FPGA is that is none of the mask layers are customized. There are uh, there is a method of programming the basic logic cells and interconnect. That means we have to utilize some kind of programming method for the interconnection as well as the corresponding logic cells programs. So here we have to utilize some same in that predefined cells we have to utilize some basic uh, logic cells like uh, flip-flop multiplexer multi multiplexers uh, encoder decoder uh, flip-flops everything we have to utilize so for our implementation or uh, for implementing specific application we have to utilize that predefined uh, a, a predefined uh, a array that is like a fpga so here in that fpga it consists of uh, it consists of the uh, three blocks are available. One block is called as uh, programmable logic block. So that is denoted as CLP. Another one is IO blocks. IO blocks is nothing but it is an input and output block. So it will be connected the outside of the corresponding structure. And uh, we have uh, the routing, uh, programming routing is it will be uh, present across the corresponding logic function. So this is a generalized example uh, structure for the FPGA. So in that FPGA, the main blocks are logic, configurable logic block. So it will be is arranged in a two-dimensional grid and also interconnected with the programmable routing resources. That means every configurable logic blocks are it will be routed with the corresponding programmable routing resource based on the connections. And IO blocks are arranged at the periphery of the grid and they are also connected to the programmable routing interconnect. That means the IO blocks also is it will be connected to the programmable routing interconnect so uh, this is some uh, examples for uh, the um, um, uh, input structure of the CLP that is configurable logic block so in that logic block is having multiplexer uh, flip-flops in uh, that is some buffers etc okay so everything it will be adapted or uh, inputted in a particular the corresponding logic blocks so next one is the IO uh, blocks that is the input output buffer block so it will be having some buffers and some uh, design of cells that, that will be is uh, used in the design of the IO blocks. So next one is programming technology. So in that FPGA is having uh, uh, three different programming technology for that uh, for that. <coughs> utilizing of the FPGA. So first one is SRAM based programming technology. So in SRAM based programming technology means that will be uh, here the cells are it will be as uh, utilized in that SRAM technology for that uh, uh, utilization of the particular <coughs> Uh, cells. So here uh, that FPGA is a, it will be is connected with the routing interconnect. So based on uh, enabling of the corresponding SRAM, we have to utilize as well as performing the corresponding configurable logic block. So compared to the SRAM, SRAM technology is one of the dominant approach in that uh, FPGA. So because it has a reprogrammability and the use of the standard CMOS, CMOS process technology. So the uh, so so therefore, this is a leading to increased integration and high speed and lower. <coughs> 
power so it is a um, compared to the other technology it is a, a dominant approach for the programming methods so next one is a flash programming technology so in that flash programming technology uh, <coughs> it is one of the alternative technology than sram based programming technology in that fpga so here it is also uh, called as ee ee pro based uh, programming technology so with the help of this transistor we have to enable the particular cell so we can able to performing read and write operation for the particular logic blocks based on that eprom transistor so next one is anti fuse programming technology so it is one kind of alternative method compared to the sram as well as play flash based technologies so here here we have to utilize the anti fuse programming technology it compared to the other the area occupation is very less compared to the other thing so it has a, a lower on resistance as well as the parasitic capacitance compared to the other technologies so these are the programming technologies is available in the fpga so next we go for the routing method so routing is it is the interconnection and connection of the uh, between the the corresponding logic block cells as well as the io cells so the programmable interconnect is also called as <coughs> it it will be uh, between the configurable logic block as well as io block so it will be connect with the various uh, ways one is a general purpose interconnect another one is a direct interconnect in a general purpose interconnect means that means some of the signal is between clb as well as between the clbs and io bs can be routed through the switch matrix as well as they travel along the horizontal as well as vertical lines so here the programmable interconnect if here we have to utilize the vertical routing as well as the horizontal routing for the interconnection of clbs uh, with the help of the corresponding uh, routing methods so across this we have to utilize some um, switch boxes as well as connection boxes is also available for the connecting of clbs as well as the io ports so next one is a direct interconnect direct interconnect means for a adjacent clb that will be um, make a interconnection with uh, connection with the direct manner so this is a direct interconnect for the adjacent clb that is also possible in that fpga so next uh, routing methods are global routing as well as the detailed routing so global routing means it is one kind of routing method for uh, finding the path for the particular uh, between the two clbs as well as the iob so it is performing a course route to determine for each connection the minimum distance path through the routing channel that will be has to go through that means we have to find out the distance path between the two blocks that will be find out <coughs> by using some algorithm then they have to performing the routing method so that is called as the global routing so in that global routing the each connections um, multiple ways of route routing it and chooses the one that of passes the least congested routing channel that means we have various number of multiple um, ways are available but we have to select the minimum path with uh, without any congestion so that path is enabled with the help of the global routing so it is one kind of balancing the usage of the routing channels that will be achieved by using the global routing so the uh, this is a, um, the, uh, this global routing is it is a one of the optimized solution for the corresponding routing method so in this method the rerouting is also available so next one is a detailed routing in the detailed routing means we with the help of direct graph directed graph from the routing resources to represent the available connection between the wires c blocks s blocks and logic blocks within the fpga then we have to find out the minimum uh, minimum distance path between the corresponding logic blocks so that will be is find out then the routing is enabled between the corresponding uh, blocks so that is called as the detailed routing so here what is the advantage for the detailed routing compared to the the corresponding um, global routing means here to avoid the subsequent iterations of ripping out and rerouting uh, if the solution lies on the near outside of the uh, bounding box that means here is also uh, that means the ripping iterations it will be avoided by using the detailed routing
So here, this is a structure for the various routing styles. First one is a uh, Island style routing architecture. That means here having some um, <coughs> connection box as well as the switch box is available between the uh, CLB as well as the IO um, block. So and we have the some vertical uh, routing channel as well as horizontal routing channels are available. So by enabling the corresponding routing channel we have to make a connection between the CLBs. Here this is a detailed routing. So here detailed routing is we have to find uh, using some programmable connection based on uh, finding the shortest path between the corresponding logical box as well as we have to utilize the corresponding switch block based on the connection. So next one is a hierarchical routing architecture. So for a very big uh, architecture we have to utilize the hierarchical routing architecture. So it will be splitted into the number of um, uh, blocks. So that will be is connected with the common block. So that is called as the hierarchical routing architecture. So routing means we have to make a connection between the uh, two CLBs or CLB to IO uh, based on the transferring information from one block to another block by enabling the corresponding <coughs> uh, connection so that is called as the routing thank you